one of my favorite quotes is, kids don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Even at the high school level, the kids want to be cared about. And so it's very important that our teachers take an interest in the kids' lives. Uh, I think our teachers do a very good job at that, uh, really trying to identify with a kid and learn something about them. So that's the primary thing is we just want to show them that, they, that we care. Uh, we try to get the parents as involved as possible. Uh, one of the things I actually am most proud of across all populations is our participation at parent-teacher conferences. That's a struggle for high schools and typically the story I hear from other administrators is we only see the parents we really don't need to see and we're seeing 10 to 15 percent of our parents. We are above 80 percent attendance at parent-teacher conferences every fall. Uh, and the reason we are is one, we provide translators. on We have translators on site that have follow a schedule. Every one of my teachers has an advisory group. They're working with 20 to 25 students uh, of all cultures. They're not, they're not seg segregated by culture in that program. And their job is to contact every parent of every student that they have and set an appointment time. Not just to, hey, let's drop in and, you know, the school's open, let's stop in and see parent-teacher conferences. It's, hey, I've got available 415, 430, 445 this day, which, you know, what works for you? How can we get you in here to visit? So we, we reach out to them and make contacts. I have some wonderful ladies that work very, very hard that are bilingual. Not all of our staff is bilingual. In fact, a very limited amount is bilingual. But the, the ones that are bilingual are very willing to make phone calls on behalf of other teachers to those Hispanic homes where the parents may not speak English at all to reach out to them and say, you know, please come in, we'll have a translator there. We want to, we want to talk with you about how your child's doing. So it's, it, we try to be very welcoming. I try to put myself in the student's shoes. If I were to go to school in another country where I was, it was not my native language, you know, whether that's Mexico or Germany or where, you know, China, wherever it may be, how intimidating is that for me as an individual? That's what our kids are experiencing. And so our teachers try to realize that. And we have high expectations for them, but we also try to provide a great amount of support to get them to meet those.